Hey everyone, it's Laurie here from Take 5 and Create, and today is Hymn Sing Sunday, of course, um, and I am singing a special Janice Cat Perry song that's one of my favorites um, called The Test. Um, I've had a lot of feelings about this song lately, and I haven't sung it in, since I was a teenager. So, um, and last Sunday I had my brother-in-law and sister here, and um, he requested that I sing this song um, for him while he was here. And I did, and I just fell in love with it all over again. And I want to tell you why. So what you need to know about this song is Janice Cat Perry wrote this song because of this reason. And I wrote it down so that I could get it right. She lost the use of her left hand when she started writing music. Um, her three middle fingers put, uh, pull under, I guess, and her wrist pulls up when she tries to play. She went to 40 specialists and no one had an answer for it. So she played that way for 30 plus years. The last person she saw was a blind doctor and she kept complaining to him. One day she realized the irony of her complaining to a blind man. Uh, he said to her, well, I wanted to help your hand, but I guess I can't. But I can help you learn to accept it more gracefully and to know that someday there will be a restoration, whether it be in this life or the next. So because of that experience of her um, meeting with this blind doctor and him inspiring her um, with those words, she wrote this song. And so the very first verse, there's three verses, the very first verse is for him, the blind doctor. So when you listen to the words, you'll hear that. The second verse is about herself and others who go through trials and pray for healing that never comes. And then thirdly, it's for someone who has lost, lost a loved one, which we all have. Um, so I, this, this song is just beautiful and, um, she almost didn't put it in one of her CDs and then she felt inspired to do it. And I'm so glad that she did because it has inspired me today. I want to finish by saying, um, there's a quote by Vern P. Stanfield that says, there is no darkness so dense, so menacing, or so difficult that it cannot be overcome with light. And that's what Jesus Christ is. Um, in October, 2018, Henry B. Eyring gave a beautiful talk which I read again this morning called try 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 and I'm going to just give you a portion of that talk he said since the beginning the tests that we've been given have not been easy we face trials that come from having mortal bodies all of us live in a world where Satan's war against truth and against our personal happiness is becoming more and more intense the world and your life can seem to you to be an increasing commotion isn't that true and then he finishes by saying, my reassurance is this, the loving God who allowed these tests for you also designed a sure way to pass through them. Jesus Christ experienced all the sorrows, the pains and the effects of our sins so that he could comfort and strengthen us through every test in this life. And in Luke 1 37, for God, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So I want you to think about those messages when you listen to the words of this song, um, that we may be in a major test in our life or a major trial or de depression or uh, whatever it is that you're going through, or you've lost a loved one, um, or you've lost a dear friend, um, whatever it may be, that we can have assurance in the knowledge that Jesus Christ is there and he loves us and he is the light that can bring comfort and peace to our hearts and our soul and that one day, all of these things will be restored to its natural state and order, and we will live with him forevermore. But for now, this is our test, and so we've got to find and muster the strength to get through them and to fight all the evil that surrounds us and the negativity and the, the feelings of self-worth or no self-worth, whatever it may be for you. Um, so listen to the words of this song, and I hope you fall in love with it as much as I do. Thank you.